You know that really, really tall girl that you go to school with? Would you maybe wanna... Well, that's me. <laughs> um, never, never mind. 16 years old, six foot one and a half. Well, how's the weather up there? Nice sweatpants, Sasquatch. What'd you say to my best friend? Farida, please. Honey, you just have to be strong in the face of adversity. Oh, I love it. That's the one. You're perfect. I just think it's crazy you won't date a short guy. You really think that at any moment some taller than you perfect guy is just gonna walk through that door? Okay. I'm going in. You are? No, of course I'm not. The guy got out of customs, what, an hour ago, and she's already marking her territory. How are you liking America so far? I'm liking America very much so far. One day, Jody, you're gonna stand up and say, I love all 73 inches of myself. Hello? Hi, I'm the new exchange student in your school. I was hoping you'd want to go with me to the homecoming test. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I mean. <laughs> gotcha. Let's face it, Jody, you're the tall girl. I just want you to feel normal. Dad, every time you try to make me feel more normal, you just end up making me feel like more of a freak. I, I need your help. Little sister. I've been waiting for this day to come my entire life. I'm going to extreme makeover the crap out of you. Let's get to work. Push a little so you're telling me that a lip gloss and a lip glass are our two oh, Stop stressing. I look like grandma's couch. Or a beautiful mermaid princess. Now this is me. I like new Jody. Face your fears, Jody. Going after what you want, Jody. I've been in love with this girl since elementary school, and this new guy blows up my plan. <laughs> You're moving in on my man. No, I'm not. Stay away from him. I will. Stop agreeing with everything I'm saying. Okay. <gasps> We've all got something about ourselves we wish we could change. You're my big little sister. That's me. The only thing that we can control is how we deal with it. When you're a tall girl, it's it's the only thing that people see. It's not the only thing I see. I just want to make sure that you don't get hurt. Hi there, here's today's daily fact. The famous chest waxing scene in The 40-Year-Old Virgin looks so realistic because it is. Steve Carell, whose hairs were being ripped out, wanted the scene to look as true to reality as possible. And with five cameras rolling, it was done in one take. Ouch. Remember to click here below to subscribe on the side for more great content.